Joining us now from Vancouver, from QMI Agency, the National Sports Editor, Mr. Dave Langford. Dave, thanks for joining us. Good to see you, Jackie, sort of, through a camera. <laughs> All right, listen, what more can be said about Joanne Rochette and her amazing strength, never mind the fact she actually went out and won a medal, other than to just announce her right now as Canada's flag bearer for the closing ceremony? I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to write that today. They're not announcing the flag bearer until 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. Uh, but I think it's natural. I think it'd be the most dramatic moment maybe in the history of Canada's Olympics if she came out with carrying the flag. It's just a, I mean, it's, it's a great story. It's an unfortunate story, but it's a, it's a heart-rendering. It's just... Oh, a great thing and it says all the right things about the Olympics. There's a, Olympics takes a lot of heat for a lot of things but if, if the COC made her the flag bearer there'd be a lot of things made right. Absolutely. Talking about taking a lot of heat I've been waiting to uh, talk about this all day long. The women's hockey team, our women's hockey team taking a lot of heat uh, over their on ice celebration after the game last night. Not in the immediate moments after the game but after everyone had already left the building. What is the stink about? Good question. We're all asking that question. What is a stink about it? I think there's no stink. I mean, why can't? It's kids having fun. I mean, nobody said boo when Montgomery walked the streets of Whistler with a uh, pitcher of beer slugging it down. Nobody said anything about it. So the women go out there on the ice having fun. They just won the gold medal, for heaven's sakes. Leave yeah. them alone. Smoke a cigar. Enjoy the life. Right, In fact, not, they just got an email. There's a... I just got an email from there's a cigar company that's shipping cigars up here to them to give to them to enjoy after the Olympics are over. Yeah, good for them. All I was going to say is nothing illegal about anything they did other than the fact one participant is underage. But let me just say, A, she's a month away from her 19th birthday and she hails from a province where it's actually legal to drink at 18. Still doesn't make it right in Vancouver, but really? Come on. Oh, it's absolutely the silliest thing I've heard. And I'm not sure whether it's payback for maybe uh, a, a lot of, in, remember in Nagano, the American hockey players uh, disrupted things and wrecked hotel rooms and stuff like that. I don't know whether it's a fee payback thing. I don't know. It, I don't understand it. Certainly, I'm not seeing it from the Canadian media around here being critical of this. It's kids having fun. Leave them alone. Move on. Next story. Yeah, as I heard this morning, best line I've heard so far is, I refuse to be offended by this. All right, listen, Dave. Vancouver games didn't start so well for organizers. Terrible tragedy at the Luge track. Rain and more rain and more rain. British press calling this the worst games ever. But to see, things seem to be looking up now, especially for our athletes, especially the last few days. So from your perspective, what will the legacy of these games be? I think the legacy, I stood up here a week or so ago talking about the leg, legacy of the games, and, it would, and I wasn't sure at that point because it certainly started horribly. And uh, uh, the uh, Van Ock committee wasn't quick to react to things. They had the cauldron problem times two. They didn't f fix the second one, which was, was, seemed like a fairly easy fix to me. They had the luge death. They had a lot of things going wrong. But that being said, the downtown was electric, and I think almost the downtown, the Vancouver proper, took over these games, and it made it a very, very wonderful event. Uh, Atlanta had horrible times. They were comparing these uh, games to Atlanta. Well, Atlanta had a bad sports, bad organization, and bad downtown with bombs going off. This place has been electric downtown from beginning to end. The athletes have caught up and overtaken any of the uh, slips done by uh, Van Ock or the uh, COC or what. No, COC didn't do any, but Van Ock. So I think the legacy of this will be a great time, a wonderful party, and some great performance by Canadian athletes. And nobody can get in the way of that. No, absolutely not. I think uh, all in all, you know what, we've had a great couple of weeks and I'm sad to see it end. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, that is Dave Langford from QMI Agency, National Sports Editor from Vancouver. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Jackie.